Laogon, Haiti, just a few miles from the epicenter of the earthquake which killed more than 3,000 townspeople here and left nearly 40,000 injured. Amid the rubble, survivors at a voodoo ceremony honor the dead and thank the spirits for protecting them, the lucky ones. Music and dance are a part of life and death here, central ingredients in a vibrant culture that has helped Haitians get through centuries of suffering and strife. More than 70 years ago, Anna Lomax Wood's father was in this very town, filming a ceremony not so different from this one. Now she's on a mission to help bring back a piece of Haiti's lost past. Amidst all this pain and suffering, here is something very positive. Here is where the Haitian spirit lives and expresses itself. Anna's father, Alan Lomax, was a 21-year-old music researcher for the U.S. Library of Congress when he arrived in Haiti in 1936. American troops had just pulled out of an often brutal occupation. Educator Jackie Lamarck. The 30s, the 40s, referred to as a country where culture, uh, where tourism, uh, where peace, conviviality were an important element of, of life. There were a lot of cultural and musical currents swirling about. But it was an often misunderstood culture. America's perception of Haiti was of a country of savagery and very strange and frightening religious practices. Alan Lomax made more than 1,500 audio and film recordings that told a different story about Haiti. He found dance bands that drew from New Orleans jazz. Children's music derived from French lullabies as well as the music of the officially forbidden voodoo religion, incorporating complex Congolese and West African rhythms. Alan Lomax went on to become one of the world's most famous ethnomusicologists. He won three Grammy Awards and the National Medal of Arts for his work popularizing American folk and blues. But his work from Haiti sat forgotten deep in the Library of Congress until shortly before Alan Lomax died, when new technology allowed Anna and her father to remaster the scratchy Haiti recordings into a CD box set. My father uh, believed that people needed to hear themselves in recordings, see themselves in their films, that their creative production is in their own country. But before Anna could bring the music to Haiti, the earthquake. There was no call to put this project forward. I was sure that no one would be interested. There was no way anyone could possibly focus on such a thing at a moment like this. But Jackie Lamarck, who heads a top university in Haiti, leveled by the earthquake, says connecting to Haiti's cultural heritage is the key to his country's rebirth. Reconstruction is surely necessary, but it's not in buildings. It's not in facilities. Uh, the most important component of reconstruction is in human. And, and to do that, we discovered that culture must be the most fundamental aspect of the reconstruction uh, program. So to carry on her father's mission, three months after the earthquake, Anna and her team traveled to Laogon. We went down a little side road into a kind of small community. This is where Alan Lomax made some of his rarest recordings. Now, people at the voodoo ceremony take a break to meet Anna. <laughs> and to hear their ancestors sing. They hook up a stereo to a car battery, the same power source Anna's father had used to capture this music, heard now in Haiti for the first time in nearly 75 years. <laughs> Some had not heard this music since they were children. I got chills listening. It was very, very beautiful. They sang many of the songs that my father had recorded. 
moi ouais que m'a retrouvé bagaille longtemps que I am discovering something about my past I did not know nous nous suivre tu vois parce que c'est nous route pas nous It makes me see that we are following in our ancestors footsteps Monsieur Lomax c'est qu'on fait long Because when you see the things that Mr Lomax did a long time ago it is the same rhythm the same spirit la même loi au même vos doigts Many people of our own generation don't know this part of Haiti, this part of ourselves. Lomax shows that Haitians can have a flashback to their past and see maybe our destiny is not so bad and maybe a new rendezvous uh, with what we used to be. Anna hopes her father's recordings will not only help Haitians heal, but will also help bring about a Haitian renaissance. My hope for the music is that it will be incorporated into school curricula and used in the camps. My hope is that young musicians will rediscover it, really study it respectfully like classical music is studied. Espoir, un joyeux espoir pour l'homme et la vie, non, 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 non,